Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am riding this. This is the Ducati Multistrada V4. Yeah, you can look at the design. It looks so different than the Multistrada I rode recently, which is the 950. It is kind of new in many regards. It's actually taller and sort of slimmer as well. Looks absolutely mind-bogglingly phenomenal. You know why? Look at those lights. They look so angry. You know what is this? This is actually the radar for the adaptive cruise control. The lights have been revised. We'll come to that in a bit. The front tire size happens to be a 120. It is a 19-incher. Meanwhile, at the rear, you get 17-incher. And that is a 170 from the side oh my god look at it it's actually taller now and it has got winglets <laughs> that's right it's got freaking winglets which should be there only on a sports bike but this multi strata v4s has all of that in fact this is very purposeful it's like a adventure sports bike okay it says ducati safety pack right there brembo brake calipers and of course it's got dual discs at the front look at that okay look at the metal and it has got three radiators one two and three that's right three freaking radiators the beak has been revised as well on this motorcycle so absolutely crazy but vessel khan's fingers of truth are going to try to get inside this i don't know if it's real or fake mujhe to fake hi lag raha hai but any which way that's not important because here is a fan on the side it deflects the heat outside this is a v4 engine you know what it shuts two of the four cylinders cylinder deactivation the rear ones are shut so that fuel efficiency is improved or actually that's to conserve the motorcycle from getting really hot or the rider from getting really heated up any which ways you can see the upswept exhaust now this uses a monocoque chassis that's right but this seems like a trellis frame says ducati right here love the paneling this has become bigger now 22 liters tank earlier it was i think 20 liters and coming to the rear okay these are leds of course proper grab rail you can mount panniers here which is again a nice touch nice to hold on to the grab rails seats seems very comfortable this is a step up for sure it says multi strata here it says v4 here but look at the softness of the seat this storage space here for your phone but my phone will definitely not fit in here although i think there's a charging socket somewhere or maybe you can yeah there it is usb however a full size phone will just not come inside so ducati is in 2015 right now as far as that compartment goes what a beautiful looking motorcycle very purposeful okay let's do one thing let's come to the cluster now obviously it's got keyless entry the keys in my hand all i have to do is press this button and there it turns on okay it <laughs> blinks here as well you know why this is for the blind spot monitor it says multi strata v4 right there now this is a 6.5 inch screen which is similar to the one which you've seen on bmw motorcycles because this is actually made by bosch here i can adjust the visor to reduce the wind blast of course there is a 12 volt charging socket right there and this is an absolute beautiful looking machine now this is to turn on the motorcycle this is for the light and this is for the heated grips of the motorcycle the levers get adjustment here both the levers get the adjustment function lot of buttons here this is for the cruise control of course this is for the mode selector this is for the suspension this is to increase or decrease the volume when you have connected to bluetooth of course and this is for the indicator i believe yeah the horn oh my god that's so loud and this is a joystick to browse through every information it says adaptive cruise control dhanush phone is connected so it's showing that phone icon right there okay now it's disconnected this is the fuel meter this is the tachometer of course Ducati quick shifter, Ducati traction control, ABS, Ducati wheelie control. So much tech in this motorcycle, absolutely ridiculous. Okay, something is happening here with dogs. Anyways, that dog seemed cute. And that is the temperature. Okay, now in order to browse through this, all I have to do is use this joystick there. Music, phone, settings, Ducati connect, adaptive cruise control, everything I can browse through. Now, if I keep this pressed downwards, I will come to the down menu and there I can browse through a lot of information as well. It's saying 230 is the range of the motorcycle. Yeah, plenty of information. That again is a nice touch. And I can press the mode button and then I can decide which mode I want to ride. And you can see according to the mode, a lot of changes happen. It says front suspension soft test, rear suspension soft test because it makes changes to the suspension. Actually, it does not make changes to the preload which alters the stiffness or the softness of the suspension and also kind of alters the ride height but it's not as much as in the multi starter 950 the difference in the ride height of course and here we are just going to select sport mode hey doggy what's up he's such a small dog i want to get back just press this button and there you are back out of this menu very simple nothing complex beautiful and i think we've done too much of a talk in terms of how the motorcycle is in terms of appearance the mirrors are kind of useless i would say and yeah this is for the high beam and this is for the pass by this is for the hazard light let's do one thing let's turn on the motorcycle the motorcycle is in first gear right now so dhanil will do the needful of actually <laughs> getting into neutral because one hand i have to hold on the phone and there we turn on the motorcycle you can see the lights 
and uh, we are going to turn on the hazards as well so that we can see the indicators as well leds of course and at the front too there they are very nicely hidden you can see the lights are beautiful i need to press this button in fact i'm so confident of pressing this button from anywhere okay no i'm not okay now we have turned on the light let's go high beam bro yeah that is a light it has got cornering function so this is the cornering light as well and yeah it's actually got a radar at the rear also somewhere at the rear it's yeah there it is the radar which is for the blind spot monitor let's do one thing let's rev this motorcycle the exhaust is like really slim dual ports facial gun fingers of truth do not touch exhaust on motorcycles because they are real ones let's do one thing let's start riding right away a few more points i'd like to add dhanil please give your phone i'm running away with it just kidding we just going to open this and try to fit it inside it will not shut and if i try to shut it then dhanil is going to send me a bill to reimburse his <laughs> for, for his phone if you put the key inside it's going to get lost so you have to try to figure it out where it is okay let's do one thing let's again get into the motorcycle menu and uh, it's going to show the ducati logo first and then it's going to obviously show the multi strada i love the graphics they're really very cool but what you're going to do is we're going to get into adaptive cruise control menu and here you can actually decide and set things up okay so you can decide very far far or medium how you want the distance to be near and all this will obviously experience when we are riding this motorcycle and there is a lap timer also why would you need a lap timer on a adventure motorcycle absolutely beats the point maybe uh, you time how much time it's going to burn your feet when it gets really heated up there's ducati connect which basically lets you use navigation right yeah. but you have to keep your screen open all the time which means that's kind of impossible because if the screen is on all the time you're going to press the screen by mistake charger charger yeah but it's not going to fit in there so that's another thing right there and there is a fan on the other side as well which i will show you in a bit meanwhile this seat actually opens so dhanal will you do the needful of opening the seat and you can actually adjust this as well yeah this is adjustable for the right height mainly to bahut kam lag rahi height because most of the photos i am hidden behind that visor of course and then you can open the seat and there's a tool kit dhanal you are under arrest hand me the bike right now keep your hands behind your back you have the right to remain silent he's already silent i can't even tell him anything <laughs> anyways uh, we can get into the suspension like this okay and then it's on auto leveling which is the best right now but you can decide rider passenger and baggage so basically it makes adjustment to the damping as well as the preload depending on what you have selected here the result is that uh, softness stiffness will automatically be adjusted and ride height will also be altered for a bit so i think we just just set it for auto at the moment that we'll see later train is calling me right now so i shall just leave All right, we all set to go. It says keep the turn signal switch on the left position to activate the parking light. You know, if I put it like this and I keep this button pressed, it's going to actually lock the handlebar. Yeah, that's right. Handlebar has been locked. Well, that's nice. Let's unlock it for the moment. Yeah, it's unlocked. It's so freaking fast. Let's turn on the motorcycle. There it rose to life into first gear and off we go. Okay, I was thinking this bike would be very difficult to ride because the weight is almost two forty kg somewhere around that. But my goodness, it's actually quite light as such. I don't feel the weight at all. which is quite impressive I, i have to agree that the handlebar is like 5 kilometers away so that's a bit of a task and around the corners it's actually decent it's not that heavy either so that's impressive you know why because it has got a slew of settings you know if i get into the riding modes okay right now we are in urban mode and it says engine low why does it say engine low because i think it makes 120 horsepower in urban mode or in when it says engine low In fact, let me browse through this. When I get into sport mode, engine high, 170 horsepower, and obviously it changes a lot of other parameters like the Ducati traction control, ABS, wheelie control, suspension is hard in sport mode, but in touring mode now, there we are. Engine is again high, 170 horsepower, but the suspension is on the softest setting. So in enduro again, engine is on low, suspension is on medium setting. Make so many changes, and you can do all this on the fly to turn your motorcycle from an absolute. comfortable mild muncher to a sports motorcycle <laughs> that's impressive in fact uh, we are just going to ride on enduro mode right now okay says so close throttle i have closed the throttle yeah abs enduro and off we go oh my goodness <laughs> it really pulls strongly i like it i like the way this motorcycle rides but come on what are we doing riding in enduro mode we have to get it into sport mode so here we are into sport mode close throttle close the throttle yeah we are in sport mode i can immediately oh my goodness i can feel the front lift my god what an engine this is a 1158 cc it's a v4 which is obviously four cylinders in a v layout and 
you know it doesn't get the desmodronic valve and all that stuff which the 1260 had you know why they have dropped it because <laughs> valve clearance is now a non-issue in fact valve clearance now requires twice the amount of time 60,000 kilometers earlier it was 30,000 kilometers so no desmodronic this is a v4 grand tourism or something of that sort the punch is immediate you get into the throttle it absolutely leaps ahead which makes me wonder we should also change the suspension setting right now so we're just going to get into auto we're just going to leave it on auto leveling let the motorcycle decide what it feels like doing when it feels like doing i'm just going to ride and see what happens oh my god the lunge ahead first and foremost ride is very comfortable right now for me when i'm riding in soft settings but i'm not i'm riding in hard settings but what i like is that you know the ride height has been increased slightly by thunder switch i think 860 mm 840 860 ke beech mein 20 mm is the difference between the ride height which can be altered that again is a nice touch and the motorcycle revs so fast i don't know how it manages to rev so fast but absolutely crazy fast it revs brakes are stupendously awesome Okay, at idle, you can feel the vibrations turning off the hazard light into first gear, revving the motor. And off we go. First gear, 98 kilometers per hour. Second, 132 and that's it. <laughs> Absolutely maddening. Wind loss is too much, so we're just going to adjust this on the fly. Yeah, now that is better, but still I feel a lot of wind on my helmet because obviously because of my height, but I'm very comfortable on this motorcycle. I can feel some amount of vibrations on the foot pegs because I'm near the red line, of course, and it makes 170 horsepower at 10 and a half thousand RPM, 125 Newton meters of torque, which makes it very torquey and punchy in the mid-range. Low end is not that great. It kind of stutters at lower end of the rev range, but no matter how good this motorcycle will be, it can never be as good as that Varna, which has not one, not two, not three, but four freaking exhausts. My goodness, is that a Varna or a sports car? It's a hypercar, it's a one. Okay, stop overreacting. That is just fake stuff happening there. <laughs> 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.2 3.3 seconds depending on how well you can launch it and it absolutely lunges ahead my goodness every throttle input is like it galloping ahead and it's like bye bye i am leaving right now that is the level of performance now filtering through traffic can be a bit of an issue because this motorcycle is like really very wide although it's kind of slimmed out but still the mirrors are like wide apart so i have to be a little bit careful there a little nervous i would be very honest with you guys and then it hits like crazy first and foremost it shuts two of the cylinders in only i think maybe in touring oh no sorry urban mode yeah indoor or kisi to mode mein do cylinder off kati hai but only well idling while you're riding all the four cylinders power up and that's the reason fuel efficiency is absolutely terrible i think it returns somewhere around 9 to 15 kilometers per liter depending on your driving style i kid you not i'm just managing somehow to get here ahead <sighs> and off we go come on should i open the throttle of course that's what i'm doing here we go the front is so freaking lively oh my god i can feel the front end moving right left and center this is a motorcycle which has just way too much power okay this uh, the other v4 engine is in the panikale which has 200 horsepower or something this with just 170 okay 170 cannot be just is too much trust me on this absolutely crazy amount of grunt from this motorcycle shorter response is absolutely limited so low end is okay it kind of stutters there mid range is very nice and the top end ballistic it's a rocket ship in the top end brakes are so good my goodness grip levels are also fantabulous oh my god this is a bike which is absolute love what a machine what a freaking machine okay they're shooting something on a dj osmo time lapse and off we go <laughs> stop shouting i have freaked out my dog <laughs> what an engine as well just put it on cruise control right now yeah just cruise control here we are 107 kilometers per hour i'm going to reduce the cruise control speed to around maybe 100 kilometers per hour now it has got adaptive cruise control which you can see right now in play yeah okay so we're just going to leave it at that not giving any input whatsoever there there's a car in front okay it's automatically reducing the speed look at this i'm not applying any brakes no brakes are being applied the motorcycle is applying brakes on its own that is how adaptive cruise control is working you're going to come leftish and there hopefully everyone is out of sight and there it's picking up pace again i'm not putting any throttle input at all it does it so wonderfully well okay pressing the brake the brake became really hard it's kind of deactivated the cruise control fantastic this is such an amazing system ducati have nailed it the only problem is 
that it kind of reads all the three lanes if any okay it's saying me it's telling me rather that someone in my blind spot that's also cool but you know what it doesn't work so flawlessly well because if i'm in this lane if someone is in that lane it all slows me down thinking that someone is in my line of sight or line of path no matter which bike you ride a unicorn will overtake you like that so be really careful <laughs> where you invest your money actually ah <laughs> it's just almost always ready to go my god what a machine okay ride depends on the mode but ride is actually quite compliant stiff otherwise in the stiffer settings of course that makes sense <laughs> santa claus has come earlier this year <laughs> okay today is 23rd or something i'm riding this motorcycle but i have to tell you what a machine my goodness handling is also nice everything is nice only thing it heats up and it costs an arm a leg a lung and a kidney as well this one is priced at 26 and a half lakh rupees on road mumbai for the v4s and the v4 which misses out on a lot of electronic trickery cornering lights and gets a smaller 5 inch infotainment system instrument cluster whatever you want to call it that one cost 21.5 lakhs again on road mumbai so yeah <laughs> Oh, oh oh my god i love this bike i don't know how can someone love a bike so much but i love this multi starter it's absolutely sensational minus the vibrations which can i can feel on my palms okay on the handlebar of course easy to pilot really fun crazy amount of performance and really put some massive smile on your face this bike doesn't put a smile on your face it actually plasters a grin absolutely crazy what a lovely machine taking a u turn requires some effort turning radius is actually quite a bit as such and i'm just going to turn off adaptive cruise control here we're just going to turn it off otherwise it's showing me oh <laughs> how do you gallop like that yeah? this is a horse this is not a motorcycle absolutely phenomenal gearbox could be with slicker shifting it has quick shift up and down and the clutch is on the heavier side somehow and here we go I can't do this. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Just just way too much power than I can actually manage to put down on the road. This is an absolute beast. It has great handling. It's got a mono shock. No, it has a mono shock. It has got a mono cock body. A uni body layout. Oh, I think the H2 may be probably would the the other. No, no, no. Forget all that. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> Absolutely sensational motorcycle. What a beast. And again, see. There is, the, I think, the Ninja 650. Who cares? Who knows? I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> riding this beautiful motorcycle, which has got radar tech as well. Okay, are people taking pictures or something? They're waiting for something. Uh, I don't know. Somehow it doesn't have that uh, bounciness when you go over a bad patch of road. It doesn't bounce. The ride is really well sorted. This is a mild muncher. It can gobble up the kilometers without any fuss. Absolute crazy motorcycle, <laughs> Ducati! My goodness, you impress with such amazing tech and engineering feat on the multi starter. Wow. Okay, in the city, it's a bit of a handful. I have to admit that this is a motorcycle which is not only fast, fun, compliant, a uh, mild gobbler, a uh, mild cruncher, or whatever you want to call it. Plus, aesthetically amazing, technologically rich. This is the front master cylinder, and everything is a piece of art on this motorcycle. I can see decent amount of stuff what's around me with the rear view mirror so I wouldn't really crib about them as much as I was earlier doing it. The way it revs absolutely crazy. Now this bike can be switched to spoke wheels as well for off-road riding and that's the reason it doesn't get a single sided swing arm. It gets a dual sided one. So yeah. A little bit of ah oh, aesthetic inconvenience right there. Oh hydraulic clutch so that is the fluid for the same as well absolutely amazing motorcycle i love it so guys this is my vlog of the ducati multi strada v4s i like it so much i want to stop and i want to launch again here we are into first gear and off we go using the quick shifter works beautifully well only thing is it's a bit sensitive so if your feet or foot is anywhere near the gearbox of course it kind of realizes and tries to activate it gets a little jittery there and that uh, navigation system that's from another company which doesn't work as fluidly as google maps might as well use google maps only if you like this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this motorcycle smash that like button break it throw it eat it i don't care bye bye oh, oh, oh. There's a setting now. You can change the angle of this display. Is there? Yeah, okay. Well, I think it's better.
Yeah, yeah. yeah, so basically this angle can be changed depending if you are sitting and riding and standing and riding. Oh, I didn't know this. Uh, here. So yeah, it can be changed. That's kind of nice now. Nah? You know, no matter how much I ride this bike, I'll never be able to complete the whole vlog only because it's so much information in this bike. I'm going to get out of it all the time. Then we have to make a 10 minute video. Bike is fab. It's absolutely crazy. Only because <laughs> that is hurting. Is the price. Price, mileage, heating, vibrations. Okay, so fine. I'm planning to buy this motorcycle, and the fuel is going to be sponsored by Thunel. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Itna to kari sakte ho, bhai. Thunel is the kind of person who will buy this bike and put it in Zoom car or something like that. Zoom car. Zoom bike. Ola. Ola, Ola. Ha 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 ha. Wo char log ko bithaega idhar upar ghumaega.